I decided, or dreamt rather, of doing the Four Seasons and thinking of uh, the fall, thinking of colorful leaves on the ground, being in the woods. But then I felt that's too ordinary, too banal. And anyway, it never happened. And I thought, well, I'll have to do one in the, in the snow now. It was winter. What happened, I was at one of our gatherings one evening and uh, saying that I would love to do a dance in the snow. And uh, Rio Pell, who had just moved back from France uh, and was living in Autoburn Park, uh, he said, well, come tomorrow. <laughs> So, sure, I'm not going to miss out on that. I gathered whatever I could after ski boots, uh, sweaters, uh, scarf, tuque, uh, and uh, took the bus and went to his place. And uh, Maurice Perron happened to be there. Uh, Françoise Riopel had this little baby, Isel, who was two months old, and uh, we had a great time that evening. And the next day, we went walking in the fields and in the snow. I cannot remember how far we went. And when I saw uh, places that I had a kind, I met, was making up kinds of scenarios as I was going. And I see a, an interesting spot, which was more, uh, that's where it started. Then move to there, and then there, and then there's another section. Uh, it was all like some kind of scenario that had to do with the place, with the uh, texture of the place. It must have rained before and frozen because the, the snow was very rough and very uh, hard. And um, I, I just improvised telling Riopel where to stand and Maurice would stand just shoulder to shoulder with him. Well, I hadn't thought of, pho of, of the photography at, at that time. He, uh, I, um, I was doing a film, and Maurice Perron just followed us. And uh, of course, this is the marvelous thing. Rio Pell was so spontaneous and enthusiastic. That, you know, it just happened immediately. And um, well, the three, I mean, the two of them were great. So I was very lucky. I think there was a, there was magic. Uh, that day.